So it's nice to catch up with uh, the CEO of Curling Canada, Catherine Henderson, and she's with Kathy. Catherine, I understand you have a special announcement to make today. What would you like to share? Well, I'm really excited to be here, Kathy. This is something that I have been hoping to do since the moment I walked through the door at Curling Canada. And I do want to announce that today we are going to equalize the men's and the women's purses for our two national championships, the Scotties Tournament of Hearts and the Tim Horton Briar. That is yeah. outstanding. Yeah. I covet my ring yeah. and my necklace. Does that yeah. mean that the jewelry is disappearing? Absolutely not. <laughs> we know from speaking with the athletes, probably one of the proudest moments of their curling lives is when they first receive their Scotty's jewelry. And you know, we have a partner right now that has created tradition, really, that's second to none in, in sport. And they just absolutely, uh, we're all committed to keeping uh, jewelry and rings and everything for the athletes. Okay. So what will the purses be? So the purses will now be $300,000 for the men and for the women. Wow. Now, yeah. I know that you told me previously that when you joined Curling Canada and you looked at the scenario that you saw the difference and set out to change it, why was it really important to you? Well, you know, I think, uh, you know... You know, if you take a look across industries, obviously we want to get you know equal pay for equal work. At the same time, the, the Tournament of Hearts, you know, it had a lot of people, particularly uh, Kruger Papers, the Scotties people originally invested in it. But you know, Tim Hortons, Home Hardware, um, New Holland, Pioneer, um, all all of the sponsors, and TSN have worked with us to grow this to the largest women's sporting event in Canada. And at one point, you know, people would say, well, when are you going to play with the big boys? And I think we've got this thing now. It's the size. We're not talking about big boys anymore. We're talking about big sport. That's wonderful. Yeah. I know that yeah. one of the other changes you've talked about making it this year's Scotties uh, in Moose Jaw is a leadership conference to help grow women yeah. to leadership positions in the sport as well. Absolutely. And, you know, I, I do a lot of work actually in that area, Kathy. And it, it you know, what we know is that when you have young women, young leaders, and they don't see females at the top, um, you know, they, they, don't, they don't know where to go and what to do. So, you know, my athlete ambitions, you know, lie squarely at the East York Curling Club, mixed, you know, Friday nights. But I really want to take those young coaches, those young, um, you know, medical people, those young umpires and technicians and people that work in the sport, young administrators, and bring them up through and make sure that women really are a huge part of this sport because it's played by women, it's fans are women, and I want to see it run uh, equally by men and women. That is absolutely wonderful news. Yeah. Thank you from all the women that have played in the Scotties and that will in the future. Thank you. Yeah. Well, you're very welcome. And thank you.